It seems West Midlands Police need to introduce some safe spaces and some rigorous psychological testing in the force as it's been revealed that an unnamed police constable stopped making arrests after he was bitten by a suspect who was trying to evade him. Now in the reports I've read it calls the suspect an armed man and although he was said to have had a knife in his boxer shorts, I'm not sure how that works, that wasn't known at the time and the constable wasn't threatened with it. It said that the man was also found in possession of a loaded handgun, but this was in a man bag and was thrown away by the suspect without the constable's knowledge. The West Midlands Police Constable was attempting to detain a man in Bordersley Green after the 21-year-old had grabbed a suspicious man bag from the footwell of his car and ran from his colleagues just minutes earlier. As he tried to apply handcuffs, the suspect resisted and twice bit the PC's forearm which he had placed across his chest to restrain him. The man was later jailed, but the constable who got bit said in a statement, Since the incident, I felt uneasy knowing the male was in possession of a firearm and a knife. I am fearful for what could have happened. He said that when he joined the police, he was enthusiastic, but following the incident, he lost the will to get involved with potentially confrontational situations. He added, I stopped making arrests. I was hesitant to attend any incident where the subjects may be resisting and may fight back. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be an arse here, but raise your hand if you know that being plod will put you in situations where people might run from you, hit you, bite you, or otherwise resist you. Now, I bet none of you are actually putting your hands up, but you know full well that that is an unfortunate part of policing. There surely can't be anybody who joins the police expecting every suspect to simply it's a fair cop, Gov. Give themselves up and comply with every order. Even people who haven't done anything wrong know not to bow down to unlawful orders, so why would a suspect bow down to lawful ones? It's simply staggering hearing this. This is someone who was clearly not fit for the role of a police constable in the first place, but somehow made it through the selection process. He said it has had a massive impact on his career and aspirations, despite only being in the job for a short time and had confirmed that he had now been moved to investigations where he isn't required on the front line. Yes, and it's closer to the toilets in case he needs to go for a cry. Now, of course, I do not for a minute condone anybody running around the streets with an illegal firearm. I live in Liverpool and I'm only too well aware of nine-year-old Olivia Pratt Corbell, an incident which happened just eight miles from where I live. So do not think I'm supporting the suspects here. But this is a police constable who, through their training, should have been made aware of the dangers of being a police constable and had a psychological evaluation to ensure that they are mentally able to hold the position of constable. I think that this again shows that the recruitment process, as we're all too aware now since the HMICFRS report, is completely fucked and not fit for purpose. I mean, I remember being at catering college many, many moons ago and one of the other students and I got into it in a kitchen. He threatened me with a 12 inch chef's knife. He actually put the knife to my chest. But did I give up on my education? Did I quit learning to cook because someone had put a knife to me? Did I fuck? And I certainly wouldn't have given up if I had an argument with him and then was later told he had a knife in his pocket or even a gun for that matter. As far as I'm concerned, if he was going to use it, he would have fucking used it. Same as this situation with a copper. If the suspect wanted to kill him, he wouldn't have left the blade in his pants and he certainly wouldn't have thrown his man bag away with a gun in it. So although the copper was, copper was lucky, pissing his pants over it shows the standards of policing in the UK. And now we wait for the cop suckers and bootlickers to appear in the comments to tell me that I wouldn't do the job. When in fact, I wouldn't, but not for that reason. I wouldn't do the job because I would have to be a fucking narcissist to take a job where no one respects me and everyone hates me in order for me to take out any pent up frustration of being bullied at school and unsuspected members of society. But let's not forget that these bootlickers were completely absent on the video yesterday about the HMI CFRS report and in fact every video where a copper has been found guilty of something. Isn't that odd that they only crawl out from under their rock when it's a report where a plod hasn't yet been found guilty of something? Interesting. 